Good morning, my name is Richard Finale. I'm the Senior Vice President of Gables Engineering. This is the first time we present at this session. So let's start with a video to acquaint you with Gables Engineering. Gables Engineering is a privately owned business located in Coral Gables, near the vibrant, multicultural city of Miami, Florida. We're a tight-knit group that develops avionic product solutions from A to Z, from product definition, design, and manufacturing, to qualification testing and certification. I like that we're a relatively small group, flexible, and can do it all under one roof. I'm also really proud of our attention to detail. I'd say as a company, we're very dedicated, and it shows in our commitment to quality. What's great about Gables is our leadership. They know the industry inside and out because they've worked with numerous customers and tiers in aviation, from airframe to avionic OEMs to providing airlines with solutions directly. Leadership recognizes the challenges and understands what we as engineers need to get the job done. The Gables workforce on average has 20 years of experience. That means if a customer comes in with a vision, great. If not, no worries. We have what it takes to sit with them closely to define and evolve the product into production. Our customers face continual change, especially today. So we provide prototypes for evaluation that quickly adapt to new requirements. History-wise, Gables was founded in 1946, meaning we've been doing this for a long time. We're also AS9100 certified, which supports continually improving our processes and product quality. That's what we're all about. So Gables has been around for 77 years, but I'm here to talk to you about our display products, um, which we started 15 years ago, and in particular, the one on the top right corner, which is our new touchscreen radio controller. The touchscreen radio controller, it weighs in at uh, less than half a pound, with a height of just one and a half inches, and it is a controller designed to tune the Genesis GDR. Genesis, as you already saw, presented the GDR, and it comes in a family of radios, and our control panel can control all the functions that it has. So it is a COM and a NAV control panel. On the left side, it has the COM uh, tuning. It uses a touch screen, and below that, there are various sub-pages and modes which are all configurable, including the spacing, brightness control, and on the right side, you have the nav tuning. And within it, there's also pages that you can control, including volume, marker sensitivity, DME hold function, the ident, and then we We've also added a nav channel station identifier on the right side and a COMTX indicator on the left, as well as other indications. Soon to come, we're going to be adding extended VHF COM up to 155.975 megahertz, UHF COM tuning, the combination of extended VHF and UHF COM tuning, and an Envis version for special missions. This is all configurable through a configuration page. So come by and see us, see my colleagues. We'll talk to you more about it. We're at Gable's booth 422 and also Genesis booth 510. Thank you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 66th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Orlando, Florida, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.